All right, so let's look at the BC FRQ number five from the 2022 exam. And as usual, if I make a mistake, I'll put corrections in the description as well as uh, in a pinned comment. So figures one and two illustrate regions of the first quadrant associated with the graphs, y equals one over x, y equals one over x squared respectively. In figure one, let r be the region bound by the graph of one over x, the vertical lines one and five. Okay, figure two, unbounded region, one over x squared, so it lies to the right. Okay, so all of this region here. Unbounded means it just kind of goes all the way to the right. Find the area of region R. So here I'm just gonna integrate from one to five of the height of my rectangles. And the height of my rectangles is just one over x dx. So this is ln of absolute value of x from one to five. That's ln five minus ln of one. ln of one is just zero, so that's ln of five. Let R be the region of a base of a solid. For each x, the cross section perpendicular xx is a rectangle with area given by this. Okay, so when you integrate area or volume, you're always doing the area times the thickness, right? Just the area is, it could be a volume, like a disc or a washer method. It could be a, area, could be a shell method, right? It kind of varies on, on what the thick, what the area you use here. But here they just give you the area. It's x e to the x over five dx, and you're integrating from one to five. Okay, so this is just the mechanics of doing an integral. Kind of interesting, they haven't, I don't feel like I've seen this in a while. So this is an integration by parts question. So v is, um, what is that gonna be? Five e to the x over five, because the derivative would be one fifth or chain rule. du is dx. So this is gonna be x e to the x over five. So the integral is uv, sorry, whoops. It's uv, which is 5x e to the x over 5, minus the integral of v du, which is uh, v du, which is 5 e to the x over 5 dx, right? And then uh, you would just say it's 5x e to the x over 5 minus uh, 25 e to the x over five, right? Because the derivative of that one fifth, it would pop out and make that five. Okay, and then we're gonna do this from one to five for the whole thing. So we plug in five, so it's gonna be 25 e to the one minus 25 e to the one, that's plugging in five. And then now I'm gonna plug in one, that's five e to the one fifth minus 25 e to the one fifth, I believe. So those will cancel, and this will be minus 20 of them so it would be negative, negative 20, or positive 20 e to the 1 fifth. Okay, I think I did the arithmetic right, but if I make a mistake, I'll put it in the description below, but uh, the process is generally right. Find the volume of the solid generated by the unbound, unbounded region W revolved around the X axis. So we're gonna take this region, revolve it around the X axis. Now my method, my suggestion would be to do shell method, okay? Um, I know shell method is not, uh, not popular, but like I think the integral will probably be easier. So what do I do with shell method is this is my R, and I always think of it like it's a, it's a thin piece of shell. I'm going to unravel it, right? And the width is dx. So if I unravel it, it looks like a, this thing. The thickness is dx. The height is the height of the rectangle, which is just 1 over x squared. And then this is 2 pi r because it's like, it's like a cylinder where this is r, and r is just your x value, so 2 pi x. So then your volume, but, or is it gonna, your area is 2 pi x times 1 over x squared and then dx, and then that's just um, 2 pi over x dx. Oh, that's not gonna, and then I'm gonna integrate that what, from three to infinity? Interesting. That is not going to be finite. Uh, let's see if I mess something up. 2 pi x, the radius is x, and then the height is 1 over x squared, and then um, I would need to integrate from 3 to infinity, but this is going to be, I just know it's going to be ln, so this is not a bounded integral. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. So. The, the problem I'm running into, which is I'm considering, is that when I integrate this, I'm integrating from three to infinity, is that it would be two pi ln of x 
from 3 to c, right? Let's just make that c and make that the limit as c goes to infinity. So this would be 2 pi ln of c minus 2 pi ln of 3, the limit as c goes to infinity. But that is going to be infinite. So that's going to diverge, right? So this is a bit of a problem on the setup. Um, I don't have any issue with the setup, so I am going to do it as a maybe as a as a disk method, just make it horizontal, just to see if I get something different here. So I would make the rectangle more like this, and I'm going to use sorry washer method, right? So if I do it that way, if I do the setup then what you're doing is you're integrating over the y direction from 0 to wherever this value is. And you're doing pi big R squared minus little r squared dy. Now what is the r value? The r value is just the x coordinate, but you have to solve for x, right? So that would be x squared is equal to y, or 1 over y. So x is root 1 over y. And then, so that's my big R. That's my big R. And my little r would just be 3. So this would be the integral for pi of 1 over y minus 9 dy. And then y would go from um, 0 to where is this 3? When x is 3, y is, what, 1 ninth? So then you do this setup. But again, this this volume is going to diverge. This is going to be an infinite volume. So because the integral, is, so if I do an x in the y direction, I get infinity. So I get infinity. It's not a bounded volume. I don't get like a finite volume here. It's infinite. So I am not. I'm. If if one of you guys see a mistake in my setup, but I did it both directions, and I am getting it because this integral, by the way. Um, you would be doing the limit from c approaches 0 from the left of this integral, right, of c to 1 ninth, because it's an improper integral still. Right, so then this is going to be L, pi ln of, you know, y from 1 ninth to c, but ln of, sorry, ln of 0, or c goes to 0 from the left, ln is also in, 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 infinite, right? So, um is still going to be unbounded. Um, so I, I, I think that's, that's a, a weird answer. I, I would have expected to be a finite volume. That, that's the kind of thing is because the area is finite, I was expecting the volume to be finite, but I think it doesn't. I mean, the math tells me that it, it's not converging. So um, that's a pretty tricky question, to be honest. Oh, and I just realized my mistake. Okay, so it's revolving around the x-axis. <laughs> That's why it's not getting out. I was going to say why I was getting it so messed up. So you guys got a lesson on how to do it around this uh, is a volume practice. My apologies for uh, messing you guys up. I will, um, I will fix that. So the issue, and I might have to, you know, we'll probably edit that out of the video. But um, I'll include it, but um, I will note it. Maybe I'll edit the video and note it that like, I kind of messed up at that part. I misread it. You're revolving around the x-axis. So you're taking this region, you're revolving it around the x-axis. So it's a solid disk is what you're making here. Okay. So that's the shape that you're making. So when you want to integrate that, this is going to be pi times r squared. What's r is the height of my rectangle, right? 1 over x squared squared. That's my r there. That's the area of my circle from 3 to infinity. So that is, I can pull out the pi. We'll go for 3 to c of 1 over x to the fourth dx. And we're going to do the limit as c goes to infinity here. So then this is pi. And let's just do the antiderivative. Then we'll apply the limit. This is really x to the negative 4. So it's going to be x to the negative 3 over negative 3 from 3 to c. So that is negative 1 over 3, 1 pi over 3. And then when you plug in c, you get 1 over c cubed. And then you're going to get 1 over 3 cubed, right? And so then, then you take the limit as c goes to infinity of this thing. Then this goes to 0. And then this will be um, 1 over 81 pi. Because the negative and the negative will make that positive like that. Okay, cool.